Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda, and today we have our neighbor Amanda from Freedom Acres in Sunshine. And so, and so, she has been doing some community service. I guess <laughs> you would say a community run. Yes. <laughs> community grocery haul. I think that's what we'll call it. Community grocery hauls. There you go. Um, she went and she brought me some nice apples. This whole box of apples. This is. Butter. Every piece of butter. This is like the unsalted, right? Mm -hmm. And it's one one pound blocks. And I just got half a case of it. And we split the case. And half a case of pineapples. A whole, a whole case of pineapples. Ten pineapples mm -hmm. come in a case. So she's doing a run for all of us, and she's going to tell you a little bit about where she's been and how she got this beautiful stuff for us during a uncertain. Certain certain time <laughs> when we're supposed to be sheltered in place, you can right. leave to go get food, right? Oh yeah, we can go to the grocery right. store. We actually saw a lot of people out and about going to different places. Yeah. Um, so today we went to Gulf Coast Produce. I saw on Facebook a few days ago that they were having a case sale and they had various items listed. I didn't have a lot um, of fresh produce in my home and so I decided to do this as a way to have fresh and have some to put up. Yeah, so. and so Danny and I have a lot of fresh produce, but one thing we don't have right now is apples. Mm -hmm. We don't have pineapples. I've got one that's growing about yay big. Mm -hmm. And I butter. like to can butter. Mm -hmm. And I do the unsalted. I had somebody today asked about that. So unsalted. Um, do you have a video about that? Yes. Uh, okay. I do have a, a canning butter video. And the reason I do unsalted is, have you ever done any? Mm -hmm. I haven't done butter yet. Okay. So the, the unsalted versus salted, somebody told me that the salted leaves it grainy, so I didn't chance it. If you want to chance it, that's your business, but I do the unsalted for that reason. I use unsalted all the time anyway. Yeah, because I salt everything. Yeah, me say. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, anyway. So, Gulf, what is it called? Gulf, Gulf Coast Produce is a mouthful. Gulf Coast Produce, <laughs> but if you're in a different part of the country or a different area, Definitely just check out different Facebook groups because a lot of people are tossing out information and if you have information share it with others I just knew I was gonna go and I knew I didn't want to get a whole case of butter right now So I just called one I'm like hey, I'm going here's the list if you see anything that you like or need Let me know and I'll pick it up for you. She brought me some cash and I, I just you know yeah. the run for everybody So I would encourage y'all to do that in your area too if you see anything like so that's so. kind of like our grocery hauls yeah. for the community. Mm -hmm. and okay. Next month, we're going to be doing more grocery hauls for the community. And we'll be showing you what they are. We have two different places that we're going to be uh, possibly getting some things from. And if you're in a community, ask your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Do yeah. You this need is the time to pull together. If you, you have a resource or you need a resource, yeah. reach out to your neighbors. Because then you don't have to travel far. And, and it's likely that they need the same thing you do. And I agree. Yeah. <laughs> and two, like the butter. Okay, so this was what, 36 pounds of butter? Yes, for $77. And I didn't need 36 pounds of butter. No. So if you're in a community, mm -hmm. like she has three or four different people that she can buy for, each one of them take a few pounds of butter. Everybody gets butter for a decent price. Yeah, because it was cheaper we could have gotten in the store. Yeah. And, you know, $77 for a case of butter, it seems like a lot of money. But when we cut it in half and split it, it's not so taxing on just one person. Yeah, well. and I do at least nine pounds of butter when I can. So that's two cannons. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze a little, can a little. Mm -hmm. The apples, I'm going to dehydrate some. We're going to eat some fresh. And these are good, firm apples. They're mm -hmm. in this they're foam beautiful. stuff so that they're not laying on each other. Mm -hmm. So they should last a reasonably long time. Mm -hmm. And once I dehydrate, they'll last a really long time. The pineapples, I think I'm going to cut and slice for the grill. And we may do some in chunks, mm -hmm. but that gives us pineapple for a while. Yeah, and you can do it in several different ways, like you're saying, and then not get sick of like a whole case of apples a certain way. Yeah, you can have them different ways, dehydrated, canned. Yeah, other things you can do. If they start going bad, hey, we'll just start cooking them down, cooking them down, making apple sauce, Make a pie, and, something. <laughs> pies, whatever. I mean, but if you don't want a whole case, ask a neighbor, ask a friend, pitch in together and buy it. 
Yeah, and there are so many good deals right now, and as we don't really know what's coming in the future, mm -hmm. it's a really good time to stock up on extra. And if you have the skills to be able to put that food up, it's, it's just an ideal time to take advantage yeah. of Yeah, especially these suppliers, mm -hmm. because normally the restaurants, the schools, and places that they supply to are shut down. Mm -hmm. So they're offering it to the public. This may go away in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it might. So for now, take advantage of those deals and get a box of apples. Yeah. Thank you guys from Crazy Days and thank you Freedom Makers. You're so welcome.